Hi, this is a quick tutorial of how to connect the Cyclic Plus app to your existing Fly 12 camera and also add Strava overlay metrics. This video was filmed in 2017 in April with the most recent version of the Cyclic Plus app. A couple things we want to go over today. First, which app to download. Next is how to pair the app with your existing Fly 12 how to connect to Strava, how to review footage, how to edit your videos, how to add the overlay metrics from Strava, and then lastly, how to export the video clips themselves. If you've had any issues with getting the app to run correctly, it's best to just start over. So please close all running apps and then just restart your phone. To be sure that you have the correct version, please uninstall the Cyclic Plus app and re-download it from the Play Store. Please note that you should install Cyclic Plus and not the Cyclic Plus Legacy app. The Legacy version was one of the previous beta releases for the Android phone. After downloading and installing the app, click on Open and the app will open itself. Let's hit Next and power on the device. Next you want to enable Bluetooth on your phone. Click Bluetooth. Wait for a second and you will see it in the available devices. Select that and connect. And this will pair your Fly 12 to you, the app on your smartphone. Now we're connected. Hit next on the app. Now the app will automatically start scanning for your Fly 12 device. After a minute or more you will see that the Fly 12 is connecting to the smartphone app. Okay next you have some tutorials. So you can hit OK next to tap through the different screen tutorial sections. First is the Sync Strava button. Next is Stop Recording, so you don't have to record while you're just messing with the unit itself, not on your bike. Next is Review Footage. There's an alarm, and then the Fly 12 settings that you can go into, and then hit Done. First we want to Sync Strava. More tutorial sections here. You'll see that you can connect. You can download maps while syncing Strava. This can add some bit of time. Which measurements are you using? You can use metric or imperial. You can choose up to three metrics at any given time. I'm going to choose speed, heart rate, and wattage. So I turn the download maps off. I'm going to choose Imperial Measurements. I'm going to choose Speed as one of my metrics. Turn on Heart Rate and Wattage. And then I'm going to connect into Strava. Alright, so here you need to authorize Strava to link the two together and you can just log in using Facebook or whatever whatever option you want. Next hit save and then go back to the main page. So 20 of your most recent activities are now downloaded. Just hit OK. I like to press stop recording here so that the unit is not recording while it's just sitting here on my desk. Next, you want to go in and review footage. So now you need to connect to the Fly 12 unit. And at this point, you'll hear three beeps as soon as you hit the connect button. And this will tell you that the Fly, the Wi-Fi is turned on on the Fly 12 unit. Okay, so eventually you will see the Fly 12 show up in your Wi-Fi list. Select the Fly 12 Wi-Fi network. And this will automatically connect. OK, 
Okay, minimize that page, go back to the app. More tutorials for the first time through. And now you can just review to the clip that you want to edit for this example. So now that I have chosen the clip that I want to edit, there's more tutorials. There's a top right hand corner pencil icon. This is what allows you to edit the video clip itself. So now it's going to download the video for editing. Okay, now your video is done downloading. So now that you have the option of which metric sets you want to add on to the video itself. You've got the Strava overlay, you've got the tram lines, and then you have the map. And again, the first time through, you have tutorial indicators on the app to show you how. So we're going to turn on Strava. On the bottom of the screen, you see the little slider window, and this is basically your your clip mechanism that you use on the video clip itself. So the video clip itself I believe is five minutes in length and so you can use this little tool at the bottom to drag uh, you know a basic window if you want to make it a minute or 30 seconds or the entire five minutes that's up to you uh, of which you want to overlay the Strava metrics. So I'm just going to use a one minute section that was interesting at the time to use as an example. So next hit the next button on the top right hand corner and this will download the video, start the download video process and this will take a few minutes. Now after the video has finished downloading it goes through a saving process and this will also take several minutes. After the video has finished being saved, then the overlays are prepared. This is a little bit quicker process as you can see. Alright, after preparing the overlays, now it's going through another saving process. More tutorial links on your smartphone app, just hit OK Next. Um, it's asking you where you want to store it. Um, you can use the internal phone memory or your SD card, doesn't really matter as long as you have the adequate space. For this example I'm just gonna store the image on my phone memory and click OK to export the video. And this is gonna start saving the video to your phone. Okay, so finally at this point the video has been successfully saved to your phone and is ready for you to play. So you can just hit play on the phone to show what the video looks like. As you can see you've got the miles per hour in the middle, I've got the heart rate on the left hand side and then I've got the wattage on the right hand side. It's pretty cool that you have the timestamp, the date, and the little uh, metric overlay there on the bottom left hand screen. This was a clip about a minute long so I'll just let that play out so you guys can see the video quality and the metric overlay at the same time. This video was taken about 9 o'clock in the morning as you can see in the timestamp so this is about two hours after after sunrise just for reference okay next you have several options if you want to share the video you could just upload it to your Google Drive which is what I would do if I'm gonna save it to uh, you know future use if I wanted to add it to a YouTube video like this one um, I guess you could also use the micro USB cable on your smartphone and just drag it over to your laptop but that's pretty much all there is to it if you want to save the video somewhere else and use for a future video